Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am filming a day early only because tomorrow's Veterans Day and my husband will be off and it's gonna be hard to film when he is home. So this will be a flip through of what I did last week from Friday till today, or actually yesterday. Uh, so what I have in front of you is my Hobonichi cousin. My weeks is inside my traveler's notebook. And then over here is my Kiki K. It's an A5 size, as well as a Hobonichi notebook, A6 size. Uh, these two I'm using for my writing project. So I will show this last in case you're not interested in seeing this part of it. So let's start off with um, my Hobonichi weeks inside my traveler's notebook. And I've been keeping this just really simple. I haven't been decorating much of the pages anymore. And I'm just using it as a bullet journal checklist, uh, only because um, this month is NaNoWriMo, which is the National Novel Writing Month, where you try to write 50,000 words in 30 days. And so um, that's been keeping me busy. So let me get to that page. So this is for this week. And now I'm just mainly um, keeping track of my chores for the day and or uh, things that I did for that day so that that way I can look back and know what I did or didn't do. And again, I'm not using any stickers here or any washi tape, tape, washi tape. It's just very, very simple. So this is that quick look. And then we jump over to my cousin. Here we are now, more than 10 months. I had to think about that for a second. And this one, I decided not to go with the normal layout where I track my daily chores. Instead, I decided to track my meal. And my, uh, see, I don't have any exercise here, but I do have my steps and my weight. Uh, I was curious to see if this would work because I've stopped doing this. I have not been exercising, which is why you don't see this here. And I think if I did, I would probably put a tracker over on this side of the column to keep track of exercise. Um, but I wanted to see if this would work because the, as much as, as I was having fun with the six ring binder, um, I just have too many notebooks sitting over on, the, on my table and um, I really want to condense what I'm tracking and what I'm doing into as few books, notebooks, journals as I can for 2023 and so I decided to try this for this week and um, yeah like I said I think it would work except for the exercise if I track it here I can put down that I did or didn't exercise but then I won't be able to track um, which exercise video that I did for that day but I guess that's going to be a think in progress because I don't know what I want to do so for now I am tracking my meals my steps and my weight on this page but this is how I was doing it before and then with the daily pages let's take my book over on this side I took a little bit of time yesterday to um, finally watercolor my doodles, so I forgot to do yesterday here to put something down, but this is, um, it's not necessarily a quote, but it was the full moon and a lunar eclipse on Tuesday, and so I decided to write down uh, some information about that. Okay, excuse my doodle of a, um, you know what, I think I have this picture somewhere. I'll be right back. Okay, I had to grab my iPad because I have my photos in there so that I can share my doodles against the actual photo. So this is something that I found on Facebook which I thought was really interesting. So this is it. It says, for those who don't know the difference between a crocodile and an alligator, the crocodile is the one next to the alligator. <laughs> I thought it was funny, but it also shows you the two. Now, do you know which one is which? Do you know which one is the crocodile and which one is the alligator? I guessed wrong. So, 
while you're thinking about that, I am going to show you my second doodle, which is what we did on Sunday. So we had breakfast at IHOP. We went shopping at Walmart for some jackets because it's starting to get really cold here in LA. And then I went to Home Depot and bought some Thanksgiving cactus. And then these are uh, three representation of cactus. So here's the Thanksgiving, which is more pointy. The Christmas cactus, which is not as pointy, but it's not as severe as this one, but not as smoothish as the Easter cactus. So I was able to buy two Thanksgiving cactus and then next month I'm going to try and find some Christmas cactus and then Easter cactus is my favorite because it looks like a like a normal daisy-ish flower. It's really pretty. Now before I flip the page, have you decided which one is which? Again, <laughs> it's hard drawing. I thought it would be easy to draw, um, you know, looking at the shape of the heads. So that's what I was going for. Um, but this is the alligator. That one's the crocodile. So the alligator has a U-shaped snout, as you can see there. And then an alligator, yes. And then the crocodile is V-shaped. But I think if, we, if you were to see one in the wild, I think they can run pretty fast, but I would stay away from both of them. This is, was a funny uh, meme quote that I found on Instagram. It is by baby underscore Yoda for life. It says, before coffee, I hate everybody. After coffee, I feel good about hating everybody. So this is my version of baby Yoda Grogu. Now this is a picture that I found. Um, I wanted to sketch something. And this one, let's see, yep is this one. I just thought it was a really nice picture. Oh, you know what? I was looking up a photo of um, water buffaloes and I just really like this photo. So I try to sketch it so you can see the picture versus my watercolor. And I found that, uh, I, I think I did a search for like free photos so I can um, draw the photo. I didn't color my minions. That's supposed to be green beans and cheese. If you kind of squint, it does look like the photo. And I don't know if I have that one. I don't. So I didn't do anything there. This is the male Tristan albatross. And this is Shadow, Big Bear, Bald Eagle. I finally got um, permission from Big Bear's Bald Eagle, Bald Eagles, uh, to share the photo of him. I will link their website down below as well as their YouTube channel and their Facebook group. So again, I live in Southern California and so Big Bear, the Bald Eagles, are a local um, pair of Bald Eagles that live in Big Bear and so I've been following them now for about a year. And let me see if I can find those photos. Okay, so this one of Shadow looks like that. And I actually like these kind of photos where, you know, their face is so up close to the frame. So it's kind of out of frame, kind of crooked. Um, I just find them funny. Now this one is, let's see. So that one is this one. It's just so cute. And then they uh, put, they band the legs so that they can identify uh, each albatross. But I just thought it was a really nice photo. And again, so you can see the close up photos that I like. Then the next one, this is the blue footed booby, which I finally watercolor. And again, it's not this one that I was drawing, but you can see the coloring. And then, uh, I think this is the last one I'm going to show you. Yeah, so this is the California Brown Pelican. And I had mentioned last week that the coloring on the pelican changes between a breeding bird and a non-breeding. To that. I just thought it was really interesting. It's really pretty with the red. 
and then the reds down here for the non-breeding. So this is what you can do if you'd like in your cousin. If you'd like to doodle or sketch, you can um, Google like free photos that you can draw. Or if you decide to draw from websites, you know, from Facebook groups, um, I would highly suggest emailing them and asking if you can uh, sketch or doodle their photos, their images onto your journals. But I really like um, drawing these. It's been a lot of fun. So that is it for my cousin. Now a quick thing I wanted to share with you if you're into writing once again. This is my Kiki K A5 size and I have been using this as a writing journal. I have been keeping track of my daily writing sprints. Actually I don't do sprints but I do say like I start at 8 I might stop around 11 or 12 for lunch for me and Bruce. And so this is for today. So this is sort of uh, what I've been using in my Kiki K six ring binder. This is uh, the 100 day challenge workbook from Susie O'Connell. I will link her workbook down below. I was able to download this for free. So this is what it looks like. And then you fill in the pages. This is a 100 day challenge to write a minimum of 250 words. And so I've been using this for Nano also. And so again, this is filled out for today, so which is why there's a, um, a post-it note, a sticky note under this, because I do have um, points, story points that I want to hit. Um, this is the scene that we're at, the date. Here you would color in the chickens, and in here you would keep track of your words. So I'm currently starting today, when I start writing, I will be at 19,244 words, and then I would um, fill it in. And then my pages, I need to look to see where I stopped, because that would be my starting page today. And then what I want to show you here was, I colored in my chickens, so you can see what a blank one looks like. And then when you hit your word count, you just color them in like this. Hopefully you can see the color. And then um, I was actually using watercolor to color the chickens. And I can't bend it too much because uh, I do have writing notes underneath, but you can see this is colored red. Again, as I hit the word count. And then this is something that I created off of Google Sheets. It is the NaNoWriMo word count target. So today we are the 10th, but you can see where um, the number that I need to hit. And then here's my daily word count. This is where I start. I keep track here and then when I stop and then I have the dates here. And so every day I've been filling it in to make sure that I am ahead of where uh, I need to be at the end of the day. And thankfully I have been, I've been trying to keep up with this. Then the last thing I want to show you was the uh, A6 notebook, Hobonichi, that I've been keeping in here. And I need to catch up in here, but because it's, uh, I need to catch up, I can show you a blank um, layout. So this is for Sunday. So you can kind of see how it's slightly similar to Susie's planner. So I have my word count checklist here. So I would either check it off or color it in. Uh, today's focus. So again, I would write down where we're at when we start writing. Over here would be the points that I would want to hit for that day. Over here, I have my start word count, end word count, the time. If you do sprints, you could put your sprint time here. In my case, I will put down the time that I start writing and then when I stop. And then this would be the total word count for, um, you know, for my words. Down here would be my page count when I started, when I stopped, and then the amount of pages that I wrote that day. And then over here, just because I have the room, I would put down the thoughts or notes that I have for that day. So if I was struggling with a particular scene or was having a good day, bad writing day, I would note it down here. Now I've been doing it like this in here because for next year, I don't know if I want to print out um, the planner on paper. 
I'd like to try to keep everything in one book like it is here because uh, as I said in my last video because it's a six ring binder you know it, it only holds so much before you need to get rid of this reprint it so you have blank pages and then start all over again I kind of like a, this idea and I was planning on doing this in the Midori book that I bought um, a couple of weeks ago. I did a video on this, but this is a two page, so it's A6 size. It's two pages for one day. So I thought I could do the same layout that you see here, over here, and then I can keep track of my writing in one book for one year. So that's an idea that you can think about if this is something that you want to do. If you are also an aspiring writer or write for fun, is to um, transfer it into either the A6 one day two page if you can still find it or in the Hobonichi A6 blank notebook, which I have in here and I own a lot of Hobonichi A6 covers and so it's nice to be able to use it instead of, you know, having it stored away um, on your bookshelf or in a box. So this is a very quick look of my planners for what I did last week, as well as my writing journal and how I'm using this. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you'd like to see, I guess, videos like this. And I should be back on Friday next week because I think he's working. So I will see you then. Have a good weekend. Bye.